It is no secret that entrepreneurship is not rainbows and butterflies. So when you're not making consistent income in your business, it can be extremely discouraging and frustrating. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top three reasons why you're not making sales in your business and how you can turn that around today. Let's do this. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Jennifer Marilla. This YouTube channel is for content creators, coaches, and service providers who are looking to grow their online business using social media. If that's right up your alley, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I drop these videos one to two times a week, every single week. So if you're here today because you want to learn why you're not making consistent sales in your business, I'm going to give you the top three reasons about why that's not happening for you and ways in which you can start changing that real quick, my friend. Let's dive in and let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is consistency, my friend. You're probably like, yo, Jen, I've seen like 10 of your videos and you're all talking about it's consistency, consistency. But that's the thing. I want to hammer this shit into your brain, my friends. Consistency is key. We tend to connect emotions and consistency as a thing that needs to happen and it doesn't. And look, I, I'm speaking from experience, like I've been there as well. Sometimes you don't feel like showing up and I totally get it. But that is when you need to push yourself even more to consistently show up. And I'm not talking about push yourself to the point of burnout. That's not what I'm talking about here, my friends. I'm talking about consistently showing up and providing value because when you build consistency, your audience is trying is seeing that you're consistent in your word, you're consistent in what you're providing. And so they're going to wanna to work with you, right? Think of your favorite TV show. You know that every Monday at eight o'clock, your favorite TV show is on. That is consistency. That is loyalty. You're going to be there. How pissed are you when that show doesn't show up or if it's a repeat and you didn't even know that, right? And I want you to think of your business and the way you show up in your business the exact same way. That is the key for shifting. A lot of people think that you have to feel amazing when you want to show up. Like, nah. That's not the way it works. A lot of the times I don't want to film these YouTube videos, but guess what? I do it anyways because I know that's what consistency is about. Whether you watch this video today or five months from now or even a year from now, it is here. It is here for you. It is here to provide value. And I am here showing up as a brand and a business because that's what I have to offer you. So consistency is key. Remember that somebody doesn't buy from you today because of what you're selling today. The majority of people buy from you because over time you have proven to them the value that you have made. And the only way you can do that is through consistency. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Okay. The second reason you're probably not making money in your business is this one might shock you. My friends is that you're not focusing on you. <laughs> so what I mean by that is that you are probably burning yourself out. You're probably not taking care of your needs. You're not probably focusing on what you need in order to help run your business. You're probably a solo entrepreneur doing all the things when you don't need to be doing all the things. It's 2022. I think we're done glorifying the fact that you need to do everything alone in order to be successful. The truth is that you will only get so far alone. It doesn't work that way. You need a community. You need the support to be able to grow and scale your business because the truth is that well, you may be the jack of all trades, you're not the experts of all trades, and that's okay, right? So hiring and getting the support that you need to help you grow and scale in your weak spots is extremely important. And as an entrepreneur, the game changes when you can understand the value that you bring to the table and what exactly that value looks like is specifically for you. So there's two parts to this, right? There's the not taking care of yourself because you're not sleeping, you're not eating, you're not taking time off, you don't have work-life balance. Like if it's five o'clock and you said you're done working at five o'clock, turn off five o'clock. And I know that you're like, oh, but my to-do list is so long. Your to-do list will forever be so long, my friends. Like that was entrepreneurship is. If I showed you guys my to-do list, you guys would freak out. My to-do list is forever long, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to get it done. It just means that I'm going to prioritize what's important right now. And what you should be prioritizing is what's making you money today, which leads me to the second part of this is getting the support that you need in order to scale your business. The truth is that you cannot be the jack of all trades and do the things all the time. So getting that support to be able to help you scale is key and it's extremely needed in order to grow and scale your business. So I want you to look at the time that you're spending in your business versus on your business and where are you maximizing your time? At the end of the day, what is actually bringing in the revenue versus what are the things that you can outsource at a low cost in order to bring a return on investment on your time, which is actually priceless. So this is going to be a little controversial, but this is number three, fake it till you make it. Now, when I say fake it till you make it, I'm not saying do something that you don't know how to do and you can't promise to actually get done. What I'm saying is that fake it till you make it so that you have the confidence to show up and do the thing anyways. 
I believe that there's two parts to this, right? Like you can create something and manifest the future of the actual goal that you want to have. So for example, if you're someone who is an online business and you want to get to consistent $5,000 months or $10,000 months, like faking it as if you already are there is going to one, collapse that time lapse between it actually happening and when you think it's gonna happen, right? Because you're already acting in the now as if you already achieved those goals, right? And the second thing is that it's gonna allow you to build that confidence to be able to show up so that you consistently show up, which goes back to my first reason, right? About why you're not making money in your business, right? And so when you can step into that power, when you can own what you have to offer and you do it as if you're baking it until you make it, that's when the ball begins to change and you'll start to see that consistent income in your business. So if you're not seeing consistent income in your business, I'm gonna ask you to act as if you already are and who would that person be? How would you show up every single day in your business? How would you sell to your clients? How would you provide service? How would you serve them at your highest? Think about that. All right, my friends, that is what I have for you today. If this was helpful, I want you to drop it in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I drop these videos one to two times a week, every single week, every single month, and I am here for you. Until next time, my friends, I love you and I wish you well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.